morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulites. This is Angela, and I got another story time for you. Did I ever tell you about that time that I got suspended from high school when I was in the 12th grade at a magnet school? I didn't, but let me tell you now. <laughs> so, um, I, all my life, um, timeliness has kind of been a struggle for me. And, you know, I, there are some people, you know, in certain contexts who would be surprised to hear that because I usually often get places early, um, you know, because I know that I really struggle with or have struggled with being on time in the past. And kind of the first time that it really, really became obvious to me it was a problem was in my senior year of high school when the physics class that I wanted or needed to take was only offered first period. Now, before my senior year, my guidance counselor was an enabler of me. So she would um, often assign me, you know, would set up my schedule so that first hour I could be an aide to her or an aide in her office. So if I got there five or 10 or 20 minutes late or whatever, it wasn't a big deal and she never made a big deal of it. She just wanted me to be on time for my next classes. I'm not gonna call your name, but uh, I don't know if I should say thank you or not, but I really appreciated it. Um, even though we had um, various issues <laughs> um, during high school, um, you know, she kind of looked out for me. I don't know if that was looking out for me, but she, she, she tried to help me the best way that she knew how. Um, so anyway, here it is senior year. There's a physics class I want to take It's only offered first period. So I have to take this class first period, but I'm constantly continuously just regularly late to the class. It's a, a man teaching the class, a white guy, a white man teaching the class. And so, you know, Miss Riley, you know, why are you late? Miss Riley, you're late again. You know, he always had little commentary. And that's how I processed it. Like, why he got all this little commentary? I'm here, I'm doing the class, I'm passing the quizzes, I'm passing the class. I would well, just chill, leave me alone. That was kind of my attitude. Why you keep making comments about stuff? Miss Riley, you know, I should write you up for being late. Miss Riley, you know, three latenesses is a, a absent miss miss absence miss riley miss riley miss riley and so it kind of escalated relatively quickly to the point where if i was too late or if I, I would just not go to class and i started you know then it would be miss riley where's your absence where's your uh you know your excuse for being absent miss riley miss riley miss riley and i just felt like if this man don't quit calling my name and asking me questions, it was like I wasn't saying anything, but it was really kind of trying and annoying to my little 12th grade mind because I felt like I'm taking care of my business. You take care of your business. You do what you got to do, boo. I'm doing what I got to do. And I was also, did I mention, I started forging letters from my mother explaining why I was late or why I was absent to try to get him to back up off of me and leave me alone. So, um, and that got really bad because there were times when I would write the letter and I'd have to like leave space to try to find and figure out which days I was absent and late and try to fill in those things. And one time he, Miss Riley, do you have a letter? And I gave him the letter and I hadn't filled in all the dates yet. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Um, and so, um, you know, that we kind of went on like that. And it might have been a two semester class. I can't remember. But I think, yeah, I think it, it I don't know, but it was probably by second semester of senior year. I kind of felt like if you need to suspend me, if you need to write me up, whatever it is that you need to do, sir, you need to do that. I'm sick and tired of you constantly telling me what you should do or what you could do. And so one day, that's basically what I said in class. I was like, you know, basically I don't know what language I use but I'm like do what you have to do stop harassing me you know like why just do if you if that's what you got to do do that and so that's what he did and I had enough absences and, and, and tardies to equal a suspicion a suspension like there was a policy at the school where you know three tardies equals an absent for you know I don't I don't even know what the policy was because even though I was a chronic <laughs> uh, later I had just never really had to deal with it and because I was a solid student I was a good student 
um, it just generally it, I just hadn't this was the first time I had the experience of someone calling me on you know being late and being tardy um, well I guess late and tardy are the same thing but you know I really was never plan like I was absent because I was trying to avoid you know yeah 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 so he wrote me up he sent me to the attend he had me sent to the attendance office I was in school one day they called me down and they said they had to suspend me I was like su 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 what suspend me and this was like my second semester no that I don't know what you but anyway I was at a, a school where um, it wasn't my neighborhood high school and it was kind of like um, you know yeah you're being suspended this time if we see you back in the office you will be sent to your neighborhood high school I don't know if it was first semester or second semester of my senior year but the idea of not graduating from my high school when I had been there for four years when I had tested to get in there when you know that's I mean I deserve to graduate from my high school so the idea of not graduating from my high school was um, traumatic but I just remember being suspended calling my mother I was in the hallway in tears it was like the middle of class so nobody else was in the hallway I was just shocked it was like I had been sucker punched it was like all the air had gone out of my stomach like oh it was just like so traumatic I felt awful I felt terrible I felt embarrassed I felt ashamed um, and I had a three-day suspension now probably by the end of the three days I had kind of made peace but it was like a sort it was an ongoing source of stress um, when I did return to his class trying to <laughs> to make sure that he didn't have to do what he had to do so now I probably would have just um, you know say yes mister whatever your name is I know I'm so sorry what had happened was I probably would have tried to be a little smoother um, with my interactions with him and also more appreciative of the fact that he hadn't written me up even though he was entitled to or technically he could have but um, yep that's that's the time that I got suspended from high school and the reason that it's on my mind is because for those of you who watch Queen Sugar um, you know I just kind of feel like I can understand in a small way um, um, not Ralph Angel but Micah's experience of being arrested by the police and I imagine that the experience that I had was very traumatic for me and that his experience was 100 1 million 1,000 times more traumatic than my experience I mean he seems like you know basically the kind of kid I was he wouldn't he don't look like he was into a bunch of mess and drama and and confusion and had 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 a lot of confrontations with authority and um you know so yeah that's what's on my mind so now you know about the time that I got suspended it from high school my boobies hanging all out of this swimsuit <laughs> Thank you, Fabulites, for joining me. Remember, today is the best day ever. Be you, be fabulous, be fabulous you.